extremely pleased to be here today with the Minister for Youth and Sports, Minister Kazime. And what we are doing today is to sort of do an investigation here in terms of what it is we have to do to cause our young people to utilize the facility properly. I know we've had a lot of young people in here. We want to start a football competition. There are certain things missing. And what I was happy to hear, the minister giving me a commitment that within the next two weeks, we'll try to get two goalposts, at least so that the football competition could start in Sufre. There are a lot of things that we have to, to do. We have to put a management committee in place to manage this facility and the ministry is going to assist in that. The other area for us is the maintenance of the facility and the management committee would be having conversation with the Sufre Sound Council to, to maintain the surroundings. There are a lot of capital projects that are still unfinished, um, but this we have to prioritize and wait until the budget cycle. So what I want to do today is to thank the minister for and his team for being present here today. From here, we move on to the cricket grounds to see what is happening there and what it is we can tell the cricketers of Soufre for Shajak about the, the, that particular facility. But right now here, I want to give the youth the assurance that we are doing all in our power to see how we can start with a management team together and, and things like that. So I want to thank them for the patience and to tell them to be patient for another one or two weeks until we can get this thing going. I'm standing here at the new facility, the Atif Shelter Fair in Deriso. Um, we welcome the new facility because one thing for us as a league member is that we would not have the trouble of marking the field every time we have a competition. What I'm looking forward to is a new competition on this facility because um, the Deriso people are eagerly waiting for a competition under the lights for the first time. However, I think there are a few matters that we need to take into consideration first before we have that new competition. Um, going past COVID, obviously that's a factor to consider, going past COVID, we would like to see that um, all the potential hazards on the field are taken care of. We would like to have an area, a technical area. We also like to see a well-developed warm-up area. We would also hope that um, we have shelter in the near future and a place where the vendors can comfortably sell their, their produce. We would also like to have our own dressing and storage area. Um, it would be nice if we have a building where players can get dressed, they can get their massages, they can get a bath after games and so on and so forth. And the football league is in dire need of storage area too, where we need to store our balls and our equipment, equipment and so on and so forth. So moving forward, I would really appreciate if we can get our own dressing room and so on and so forth and of course the technical area. I think these are very important factors that need to be considered for football here in Neriso. Today very excited to have personnel from Youth and Sports. I also have with me Minister Kenson Kazme I'm coming to give us a visit in Mikud North. Behind me we see the synthetic um, the artificial surface right here in the village of Mikud. I'm happy with the surface um, although we have some problems because this field used to serve as a multi-purpose field where our primary and secondary um, children used to be able to come um, when it used to be a green surface. Um, as much as I'm, I'm an avid lover of sports, I, I, everything about sports, you get it in Jeremiah. I still have some difficulties with the artificial surface. I'm pro-green, so I prefer our green surface. And I understand. The, the, the reasoning and the rationale behind this surface. As I said, I do have my challenges with it. Um, but having spoken to the Minister of Youth and Sports today, there is some hope that we'll see even further development and improvement with the, with the surface and also with stands where, where our people will be able to come and watch a football game. So I'm hoping that in the very near future that we can see some stands being erected. It could be movable or, or, or stationary, but I'm looking forward to seeing some stands right here where our people come because if you look on an afternoon if you pass along this highway there's not one afternoon where you would pass and you would not see our young men playing football and enjoying the surface however when patrons come or spectators come to view a friendly or even the guys just training 
they don't have anywhere to sit or to, to be comfortable to look at it. Everybody has to stand on the sidelines. So, and we have our elderly folks who we have to take into consideration in everything that we do, who have been following football. Our Mikud people, I know when Black Hat used to play, we had more senior people following the young men than the young people themselves. So that shows, that goes to show that we have our senior people who are very interested in football and would really love to see stands being placed along the field where our senior people can come and comfortably watch the games but not have to stand and go through 45 minutes or an hour and 30 minutes of, of standing to watch the game. So I'm happy that, that, that we have the Minister of Youth and Sports with us. Um, I know that he has a love for, for sports, a love for football. I know that he did not get the portfolio by chance it was not in a raffle is because of his love for sports and he would also love to see um, the improvement so i know that he will work with me as a parliamentarian to see to it that we see an improvement in the facility and in the stands well we're going to see soon some stands being placed at the facility as we speak now when when we have sports in the schools um, the children are they have to move out of the constituency and go to miku south to the bushan field and that is not um, that is not an easy task for the teachers or for the students because what you have is you had a, a situation where on afternoons after school the children would come here and they would run and they had somewhere that they, they could have come right now they don't um, the children are not encouraged to just run on the first on, on this um, synthetic field they're not encouraged to just run on the thing and if you look even with the field i mean i'm not a, a technician but i have i've been involved in football for a very long time i managed northern united for about seven years so i've been actively involved in football for a while and you see about two feet from the, the, the white line we have a concrete a piece of concrete right there so i mean you take into consideration injury of, of players and this type of things all these things I'm, I'm not sure if this meets international standards or or the standards i supposed to meet because i mean it's, it's just a cause for concern how close the concrete is to the white line imagine a man coming to to prevent a ball from going outside and he finds himself clashing with with this concrete right there for cricket we have a wind playing field um, that has been utilized for cricket for a very long time, but that field in itself needs um, some sort of uplifting. We need some revamping because the condition of the field is, is a mess. Um, so I'm hoping that even maybe after here or very soon that I can get the minister from Youth and Sports to do a side visit with me at the when playing field because cricket, I mean, we produce a Gary Maffrey right here. Darren Sami is from Miku South, but most of his training was in Miku North, in the Margaret Tooth area right here at Wayne and Monopo playing field. So we've produced some of the most spectacular cricketers that you can find on island right here. We have Gavin Serie Jr. who has to resort to going outside of constituency to train and this man is, um, if given the opportunity, I see him making the West Indies team very soon. So we have a when playing field that also needs some sort of redress and upliftment as it relates to the, the quality of the surface that is there. And <coughs> as it relates to, to track and other activities, our fields are not very suitable to accommodate these type of activities and these are some of the things that going forward we're looking forward to to bring into the community where we can have our elderly persons they can have somewhere that they can come and walk around a field if they feel like and it's not just um, restricted to just football and as i said i have no issue with with the synthetic surface although as i tell i prefer the the, the actual grass um, but we don't have, as I said, because the field has been restricted to only football use, it poses a challenge for the constituents of Mikud because the field closest to here or the other sporting facility closest to her is in Monrepo, which is a good distance away. And most of our young men who come to utilize this field, they don't have vehicles, they just take a walk. So it comes, this field has brought about some challenges for us. Our objective here is to ensure that the projects meet their goals and objectives. We are happy to be part of this particular tour because we were able to see what was done with respect to the National Sporting Infrastructure Project, what is missing and what's outstanding, and how we can help. We were able to, to troubleshoot, point out bottlenecks, and see how the ministry can assist. Our role is to ensure that the capital budget of the Department of Youth and Sports is implemented appropriately. One of our concerns was that we need to ensure that the facilities, however, going forward are managed appropriately, that the management committees are put into place to properly utilize these, these facilities. And we want to ensure too that the communities get access to the, to the facilities, especially in the whole COVID climate. We want to ensure that the youth in the area can utilize the, 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 the facilities. 
but we want to ensure that they are utilized properly. So in the in the future, when our whole COVID situation has has been, I'm not sure when we're gonna COVID is here to stay, but in the future we can have properly managed facilities for our communities to enjoy. We did an investigation of all playing fields under the NSIP program. I will say that today was eye-opening. Um, a number of the facilities that have been considered complete still require a number of adjustments and uh, a number of, uh, you seem to have a lot of TV issues with some of the facilities. Some of the facilities, the plane surface is too close to um, wall fixtures or concrete which would be dangerous for anybody playing a football game. Um, we saw in Dairy so in the case of Dairy so uh, no no specifications, no consultation as it pertains to uh, an officiating area, technical area for teams and so there are a number of things that we have to deal with as a ministry to ensure that uh, under this NSIP program when we see that uh, a field has been delivered to a community it's delivered in a safe way. We saw with Miku that uh, I was later informed that the NLA had to intervene to do some backfilling because of you know some issue towards the end of a playing field. So uh, for me it's very important for us to have had this exercise today because going forward, we as a ministry, we're going to put in place a national uh, facility management policy together. We are going to be doing that uh, under well, the auspices of NLA and SSI so that we can have standards as it pertains to what playing fields are supposed to look like. In the case of Soufre, we saw a Soufre playing field that has been earmarked right now for only track and field and football. And now we have to, we visited the Ruby uh, playing facility, which is not a facility anymore because, you know, garbage dumps, uh, well, a lot of material has been dumped on that facility. And so we have to look at alternatives for the people of Sufre. And uh, this is what the situation is right now. And we certainly hope as a ministry that we can continue to develop facilities, ensure that there are proper sitting areas, uh, proper lighting at facilities, and uh, a management policy is enacted for the benefit and sustainability of the management of playing services.